Hello everybody, Andrew Lasky here with Dental Tutoring. Let's talk about alginate impressions. So as a dental assistant, you will be taking alginate impressions. Ha ha, I hate them. <laughs> I am so happy that I do not have to take them. Well, I'm a dental hygienist, I do still have to take them, but we're, we're talking three a year, and that's if the dental assistant's sick, or there's just no time, or I just pretty much have to take them, right? But this is what the perfect alginate impression needs to look like. So you, so, you, so you see this fold up here, so you need to have that there. All of the teeth need to look like they're in there. So no tears, no rips. Um, so those are kind of the main things. But it's also hard to take a perfect alginate impression don't just throw it out or toss it aside if it doesn't look like this, okay? If you're not sure, show it to the dentist, but I just wanted to show you guys what it kind of looks like if it's perfect, okay? Like, perfect. Um, so this is an alginate impression. So I tried to find a picture for you guys of what you need to set up for the alginates, but I couldn't find one. So I'm going to take a picture of that the next time I'm in the office. But pretty much grab two of those um, rubber bowls. I think they're all rubber from what I can think. Um, and grab a spatula. Grab one of those measuring cups for the water, and of course the alginate, probably some extra paper towels because it might get messy, and the impression trays. Grab an upper and a lower, at least a couple different sizes. That's what I do because until you're doing it all the time, you can't just look at a patient and know what size they are. So grab a couple different sizes just in case, upper and lower. So yes, you might have a lot of different trays in there. You might try them in and then the last tray you happen to try in fits the top and the bottom. So you might have to sterilize a lot of them, but whatever, that will take time. So because what you want to do is you want to obviously have, have the patient sit down, put on um, the bib, explain it to them. So if they're having it for whitening impressions or a night guard, you know, say to them, you are here today for your night guard impressions. Have you ever had um, impressions before? If they say, no, I have no idea, then you will want to explain it to them. If they say, oh yeah, I've had lots of these, then you don't really have to ex um, explain anything if you don't want to. But I do still say, oh, okay, well, do you have any questions? It's pretty much the same, you know. But if they, ha if they say, I have no idea, I've never had them before, then you want to explain everything to them. So I say, okay, well, this is super easy. We take impressions of your top teeth and the bottom teeth. I will do the, the top teeth first. I mix up the impression material. I, I put it in the tray. It kind of feels kind of slimy, but that's it. It doesn't taste like, like anything. I will hold it there for, for about 60 seconds. That's it. I take it out and then that's it. And then I do the same thing for the bottom. Make it sound easy. Don't make it sound complicated. Sorry guys, I thought I heard something. Um, don't, you know, say, oh, these are horrible, even though they are. Don't say those things to the patient. And then just see if they have any questions because, and make sure they're ready for you to take the impression. You don't want to just mix it up and then go, oh, um, can you get off your cell phone? I kind of got to put this in your mouth, like within 10 seconds. So make sure they know that you're taking the impression, as silly as that sounds. So I will usually say to them, okay, I'm just, go I'm just going to try in trays first because I need to see which ones fit your mouth. So there's nothing in here yet. I'm just going to try in the trays first. So they know, right? So then you will find the tray that fits the top and then find a tray that fits the bottom. Set them aside so you know which ones you will be using. Um, don't make the mistake like I've done before is I'll try in like three different trays. I put them all on the counter and then I go, oh shoot, which was the one that fit? You know, and then you have to try them in again. So don't make my mistake. So let them know that you are now mixing up the material for the top teeth or the bottom teeth, whichever one you want to do first. So what I do is just to keep it safe, I put three, um, the measuring cup, I, I wonder if I can find that online, probably not. But the measuring cup, I fill it up to the line that says three with room temperature water, not too hot, not too cold. If it's too hot, it will set too fast. If it's too cold, it takes too long to set. Unless you're new 
and really slow, then you want to use cold water, yes, but I still suggest room temperature, okay, because you don't want to be sitting there for half an hour either. Literally, it sets really, really slow. So try to do room temperature up to the number three line and then do three scoops of alginate. Mix it up, mix it fast, let them know you're, you know, mixing it up, put it in your tray. Um, I take my finger and I run it under the water, like tap water, and then I run it along the impression to make it smooth. You don't have to, but that just seems to help me get a better impression. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but that just helps me. But you might not have time to do that if you're like, okay, I have to do this quickly, I don't know what I'm doing, you know. So if you're doing the top teeth, I tell the patient, okay, I have mixed it up, I'm just going to put this inside your mouth. Textbook says stand behind them, like behind them, and then put the tray in their mouth. I always stand in front of them because I can't see from behind, but that's just me. So I go in front of them, I put it in, I mold their lips, very important. That will help you to get this ring or, or that ledge around. So when you seat it, seat it high, because if it's not high enough, you won't be able to get all of the full tooth in there. Seat it, and then take your, I guess, forefinger and your thumb and move their top lip out like this. Like that, and then over, so like this. <laughs> Did everybody see that? Let me go a little bit closer. So take their lip out like this, okay? That will mold their lip around it. You will get a perfect impression. At this stage, they might be looking at you like, oh my God, what did you just do to me? Remain calm. Say, perfect. You are doing excellent. Breathe through your nose. This will take a minute. That's it. Even if you're panicking, like, oh my God, what did I do? Hopefully I did it right. Remain calm, okay? To check to see if the elgin has set, there will always be a mess like on the outside, okay? And it's 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 hard to picture, but the alginate tray does stick out, right? So the material will be overflowing a little bit, so then you can check like on their tray if it's set or not. If it's still mushy, it hasn't set. Some of them even change color. Like if you're mixing it and it's purple and then it changes to pink, that means it's time to get it in the mouth. And then if it changes color to white, that means it's set. But not all of them change color because that's more expensive. So it just depends on your office. So when it is set, usually about a minute, then you have to take it out, okay? So what I do to break the suction is I go at the at the back and and um how can i explain this i just kind of move the the tray down so i put my fingers um like picture this being at the back so i put my fingers along here and then i push down so like this usually i do one side at a time because if you do one side it kind of loosens up the other side too but everybody's different go in do that or sometimes you can just simply like pull and it comes down, but that never seems to work for me. So I have to go in and push down. I do the same thing for the, for the bottom too, but I would, I would obviously go in and push up. But on the bottom, there's not as, as much suction because the tongue's in the way, so it's a bit easier. But then you just take it out and then I wrap it in a damp paper towel. So I take a paper towel, I put some tap water on it and then I wrap it and then show the dentist afterwards. Um, oh, sorry, my um, husband's home. I'm just gonna shut my door for a second. Hey everybody, sorry, it's just my dogs are gonna bark because my husband just came home from work. So, okay, so then you would put the tray obviously aside in that damp paper towel and then tell them, okay, how was that? Any questions? They'll probably be looking at you like, oh my God, that was horrible. Let them know the bottom's so much easier because you have a tongue, so less material. You don't take impressions of the tongue, right? So then tell them you are mixing up the tray for the bottom. I still do, I still fill up the water to number three, and then I do three scoops of, of um, 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 alginate. I couldn't think of the word for a second because then that way I don't run out of material because there's nothing worse 
than putting the material in the tray and then going, oh shoot, I don't have enough. I just do three and three. You never have to worry about not having enough. So I mix it up. I let them know. So this is a bit different. So I go to see the impression tray and then I tell them to lift up their tongue. So I will seat it. I say lift up the tongue. They lift up their tongue and then I push it down. You still have to mold their bottom lip. So once it's seated, they lift up their tongue, take the lip out like that and go up. So remember for, for the top teeth, you would take the lip out and go down. For the bottom, take the lip out and go up to mold it along. And then same thing. Tell them it's just going to be about a minute, that's it, and then take it out after it has set. Same type of thing. If you try to take it out and it just doesn't come out easily, then you want to take your forefinger and your thumb and just sort of break the suction on the bottom. Okay? And then that's it. You, sh you should take it out, wrap it in a damp paper towel. And then for a night guard, um, typically we send those off to the lab. So you'll be telling them, okay, perfect. Um, you're done for today. We will send this off to the lab. It usually takes a week or two weeks, um, a week or two weeks to make the night guard. We will give you a call when that has come in and, and let you know. And then they will try in the night guard to make sure everything fits. Sometimes they like to book the appointment for two weeks out, so they have them in the schedule. It takes about 20 minutes, so they'll book a 20-minute appointment. And then for some reason, if it comes in sooner, they will give them a call. If it's for teeth whitening, some offices make the teeth whitening trays in office, but I still tell them it's going to be a week or two weeks because the assistant, you know, you are typically making the teeth whitening trays, but you won't have time to do it that day, probably because you might have other um, teeth whitening trays to make. So I just say one or two weeks. You can always book the um, appointment for 20 minutes in two weeks and then say if it comes in earlier, we will let you know. They will probably be messy, so make sure to give them a mirror and a damp paper towel to just kind of help to clean themselves up a little bit. I always make a mess when I'm taking impressions, so it's kind of messy. But okay, you guys, I hope that helps. Let me know if any questions. If you want to know more, if you're still a student still in school and you're feeling pretty overwhelmed, then have a look at the Dental Assisting Board Exam Prep Academy. I go through all of this and teach you everything. So once you do start working in the office, you will feel confident. So good luck and let me know how your first, um, imp um, bleh, your first impressions go and let me know if this actually helped you. Okay, guys, thank you so much and have a nice night.